Nullarbor is a long drive, so many people wisely stop at one of the roadhouses or free camps along the way. And a recent initiative to encourage people to take their time is the Nullarbor Golf Links, stretching 1,300 kilometres between Kalgoorlie and Seduna. Not surprisingly, it's the world's longest course and surely one of the most challenging with howling winds, snakes, yes. wombats and even a ball-thieving crow. The crow became international success, of course. He made, I think he made the front page of one of the uh, uh, UK papers. Where was it? He's at, he's at Nullarbor. And no one has yet found where the golf balls are hidden. They reckon there's a, he must be dropping them down a a wombat hole or something so like that. So there is a crow active? There, uh, definitely. And you laugh about it, but when he pinches your golf ball, you get shit. And, and people have tried to put perfume on them, they've tried different colours, and it doesn't work. <laughs> so he pinches the ball and mm. knocks it down and nobody can find it. Yep. And he's getting like, quite a few. Absolutely. And he's pinched my wife's golf ball and I, she was shitty, chased a couple of them. <laughs> I think it's a fantastic idea. It's, it, it, there's so many good reasons. It's getting travellers to stop, break their journey. This is my caddy and spotter, Monty. Do you offer him advice? Do you? All the time. She does. She does. How to she... live your life? And... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Or if counting golf swings isn't your thing, you might prefer to count the wildlife. Or your lucky stars, this wasn't your caravan. Or even the number of solo travellers you meet on the road these days. So how are you finding this life on the road? Oh, I love it. It's great. I get a bit sick of people saying, Oh, are you travelling alone? You're brave. There's nothing brave about it. Yeah. You've just got to do it and yeah. it's easy. So you have no fears out there? No, no, I, I just love it. And people say... You're probably a serial killer. That's oh, why you're not afraid. No, no, but I look out for them. I'm always careful, especially when I go onto the bush bush stops along the, the side so of the free road. Camp? For, oh, I like a free night. But um, <laughs> you've uh, you've got to got to be careful when you're alone. I always make sure there's at least a couple of others there before I pull in. And I carried out a little straw poll while I was crossing and found the number of RVs travelling east to west it was exceeded only by the transports at a factor of about three to two, confirming a couple of things. One, this country survives on road freight. Without it, we'd be bugging. And two, sensibly, this is where all the grey nomads escape to get away from the heat. The southern latitudes 